Hi there, good day and welcome to TechVartiyar. I am Janira. In this video, we are going to see how to use Keel Microvision software to create a project with zero errors and zero warnings to compile the project and to generate a hex file in Keel. I am going to do a simple LED blinking program. I will not explain the program in this video since this is just a basic know-how video. A detailed video with the explanation can be found in my channel. Let us begin by opening Keel Microvision 4 software. So once you open the software, we have to go to project and create new microvision project. So we can select any particular location that we want. I'll create a new folder here. And I give a file name so I'll give the name as LED blink and I get save so now I have to select what kind of tool I will be using which kind of uh, processor I will be using so we select NXP founded by Philips you can expand that and select LPC 2148 so once you select that, all the description regarding this LPC2148 can be seen here in the description box. So once you select that, you click OK and it will ask whether you want to copy the startup code of the project to the folder. You say yes and if you open this target over here, source group, the startup file will be added. This means that all the basic information and the startup file for LPC 2000 family is added over here. So now we start by writing our program. So for that you go to file and create new. So you can even click on this button here below file that will also help you create a new document. And now I already have a pre-written code here. I'll just select this code. I'll copy it and I'll paste it in my program window so once I paste it once I write my program everything is over I have to save it so when I save it I'll give the name LED blink dot C this is very important save the file with the extension dot C this is an embedded C program then you can see that the colors in your program code will be different so now I have to add this file to my target or to my project. So I click on source group, right click and add files to source group 1. You select the file and add it. So you can see that the file that you just wrote has been added to your source group. Now our program is ready. We have to start compiling it. So once you have written your code, it is important that you have to build your code. So you can see the uh, icon here that says build F7. You can select that or you can go to project and you can click on build project. So you can see that the program is built with zero errors and zero warnings, right? So then you can also rebuild it if you make any changes. And finally, we have to see the output. So for that, you go to debug and click on start or stop debug session. Over here it says the code will be running uh, if it is less than 32K. This program is very small, so it is way, way less than 32K. You click on OK and then the execution has begun once the debug session has started next we have to run the code so you go back to debug and click on run so now your program execution has begun now we have to see the output for that purpose we go to peripherals gpio slow interface and port 1 so over here you can see that those particular ports which we have given in the program are blinking. So your LED interface program is executed with zero errors and zero warning and the output is also seen. Before we perform any further operation, we have to go back to debug and select start or stop debug session. So now in order to create the hex file, you have to click on this target options button or you can click on project and options for target and you get a window like this. So over here we select on output and this create hex file should be enabled and you can give a name for your hex file. I'll give the name LED hex file. 
you can select where you want the hex file I want it in my project in the same folder and I give OK and now I have to rebuild the program when I rebuild the program the hex file will be created so now if I go to the window I go to my e drive project I can see that my LED hex file is there okay so this is the dot hex file that I just created so now the hex file creation is also done. I can execute the hex file using Proteus and I can see how my outputs vary. I hope this video was useful for you. Thanks for watching. Happy learning. Please like and subscribe for more updates. Thank you.